Hey guys, it's me King Diablo and in today's video I'll review the skills for the new Sage class. So firstly, Sage got a passive skill called Ancient Wisdom. This passive skill increases the skill damage of every skill by 10% for 15 seconds whenever you use a skill. Also, when using the 4th, 6th and the 7th skill which are currently equipped on the screen, this uh, passive skill activates uh, another effect. This effect can be activated every 15 seconds by using any of these three skills and uh, the skill you use to activate this effect gets an extra charge. It also recovers 15% of your current HP when it's activated but this healing effect is not applied in arena. This passive skill is really broken in PvP since it gives Sage an extra invincibility and extra super armor skill. Now let's see the dodge animations for the Sage class. Now let's move on to skill reviews. This is the first skill for Sage class. This skill has a good area of effect and is good for PvE. This skill does stun on first hit and knock back on second hit. This skill has two effects which increases the attack and the defense by 20 points for 10 seconds. It also has a flow which increases its movement distance. The skill animation seems a little buggy at this point as you can see on the screen. It uh, shows no skill animation on use. This is the second skill for Sage class. This is another skill to be used in PvE especially in farming. This skill does daze on first hit and knockdown on second hit. This skill has two effects. The first one increases defense by 20 points and the second one inflicts bleed on enemy. This is the third skill for Sage class. It has super armor but it's not applied in arena. It does daze on first hit and knockback on second hit. This skill has three effects. The first one increases attack by 20 points. The second one reduces enemy attack speed by 5%. And the third one heals you by 110 points on every successful hit. This is a really good skill for both PvE and PvP. The range of this skill is mid range as you can see on the screen. This is the 4th skill for Sage class. This skill has super armor but it's not applied in arena. It does bound on hit and creates an area of damage when it hits the ground. This area of damage deals 20% times 5 damage in PvE 
and 5% times 5 damage in PvP. This skill has two effects. The first one reduces the cooldown of this skill by 2 seconds and the second one reduces enemy attack by 25 points. This is a mid to long range skill and can be used in both PvE and PvP. It's got a big area of effect. This is the fifth skill for Sage. This skill has super armor and it does turn on first hit and days on second hit. This skill has two effects. The first one increases the defense by 20 points and the second one reduces enemy movement speed by 5%. This is a low to mid range skill and can be used for PvP. This is the 6th skill for Sage. This skill has super armor and does knock down on hit. This skill has 3 effects. The first one reduces enemy defense by 20 points. The second one reduces enemy critical hit chance by 5%. And the third one inflicts bleed effect on enemy. This is a low to mid range skill. This skill has 1 charge. But when combined with a passive skill, you can use it twice in a row. This makes it a really good skill for PvP. This is the seventh skill for Sage class. This skill has invincibility and can be used twice in a row, but using it the second time consumes 80 mana points. Also, when combined with a passive skill, this skill can be used 3 times in a row. Also, this skill has a special effect which removes all the abnormal status effect on you when you use this skill. Also, this effect increases the skill damage of the 6th and the 9th skill by 15% when you use them within 7 seconds after using this skill. This skill has two skill effects. The first one reduces the cooldown of the skill by 2 seconds and the second one increases the movement speed by 7%. So basically this skill makes Sage a meta level class. This is the 8th skill for Sage. This skill has forward guard on the first few hits and super armor on the last hit of the skill. It does daze on first hit and knockdown on second hit. This skill has two effects. This two effects reduces the enemy attack speed and movement speed by 5%. This skill also has a flow which can be turned on to switch the forward guard on this skill to super armor. This is a mid range skill with a good damage output and can be used effectively in both PvE and PvP. This is the 9th skill for Sage. This skill has super armor but it's not applied in arena. It does a bound on hit. This skill has three effects. The first one increases its range by 10%. The second one reduces enemy defense by 25 points. And the third one inflicts burn on enemy. The damage of this skill can be increased by 50% by keeping the skill icon pressed for longer. 
the scale animation of the scale can be cancelled by using dodges or the seven scale this is the highest damage scale for sage especially when combined with the seven scale it can deal a really good amount of damage it's a long range scale and can be used effectively for both pve and pvp This is the 10th skill for Sage. This skill does knock up on hit and has two effects. The first effect increases your critical hit chance by 5% and the second effect inflicts burn on enemy. This is a mid to long range skill and can be used in PvE. This is the last scale for Sage. This is his buff scale and has two effects. The first effect increases your critical hit damage and the second effect increases your black spirit skill damage. This is the base attack skill for Sage. This is his passive skill Ancient Wisdom which I mentioned previously in the video and the healing effect can be turned off. Now let's see the Black Spirit skills for Sage class. The Black Spirit attack skill for Sage class has super armor. You can also check out my Sage PvP video on my channel. If you find this video helpful, then don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. I will see you in the next video.